डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई शिक्षणा प्रोग्राम इन माई लास्ट क्लास आई कंसिडर कंटिन्यूस प्रॉपर्टी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड डिस्कस्ड एंड सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन नॉर्मल प्रॉबर्टी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन टूडेज क्लास आई वी कंसिडरिंग प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन अप्लीकेशन ऑफ नॉर्मल प्रॉबर्टी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन consider this question in a normal distribution 31% of the items are under 45 and 8% over 64 find the mean and the standard deviation given that area from z is equal to 0 between z is equal to 0 and z is z is equal to 0.5 0.19 and area between z is equal to 0 and 1.4 is equal to 0.42 where a of t is the area under the standard normal curve from 0 to t so in this problem uh, <coughs> the areas are given areas are given so we don't have to look into the table so we can consider this value of this area solely to solve this problem so the given problem is in a normal distribution 31% of the items are under 45 8% are over 64 find the mean and standard deviation with the supplement of uh, <coughs> areas given data given so let us write the uh, standard normal variable z is equal to x minus mu by sigma and what is given in the problem 31% of the items are under 45 are under 45 so this is the 31% under 45 means to the left to the left so x is equal to 45 to the left of x is equal to 45 is 31% are Uh, <coughs> 31% are under 45 so this is the uh, portion 31% are under 45 similarly 8% over 64 so this portion this area uh, to the right of x is equal to 64 so 8% are over 64 to the right of x is equal to 64 now <coughs> we have to calculate the mu and the sigma mean and standard deviation <coughs> so let us consider at x z is equal to z1 at x is equal to 45 so let at x is equal to 45 let z be z1 so therefore z1 is equal to x is equal to 45 45 minus mu by sigma so now let me calculate this area to find the value of z1 to find the value of z1 so probability of z1 less than z less than 0 is equal to so we know the uh, <coughs> left of portion 0.5 so this area is equal to 0.5 minus this area so this area is given to be 0.31 that is 31% so therefore probability of z1 less than z z1 less than z less than 0 is equal to 0.5 minus this area 0.31 so this is equal to so but z1 to 0 is same as 0 to z1 so therefore probability of 0 less than z less than z1 is equal to 0.5 minus 0.31 is 0.19 for this area uh, from the given data for this area the value of z is 0.5 the value of z is 0.5 therefore z1 is equal to 0.5 So, but z1 lies to the left of z is equal to zero. Therefore, z1 is equal to minus 0.5. So, substituting the value of z1 here, minus 0.5 is equal to 45 minus mu by sigma. So, if you simplify this, you get mu plus sigma 1 into 0.5 mu plus sigma 1 into minus 0.5. That is mu minus mu minus 0.5 sigma is equal to 45. We call this as one. 
Now, let z be equal to z2 at x is equal to 64. Uh, when at x is equal to 64, let z is equal to z2. So this is to calculate the value of z here. That is the value of z2. <coughs> so let me consider like this. At x is equal to 40, 64. <coughs> at x is equal to 64, let z be equal to z2. Let z be is equal to z2. So therefore, z2, z2 is equal to 64 z2 is equal to 64 minus mu by sigma 64 minus mu by sigma <coughs> so now so this area uh, let me correct it so probability of 0 less than or less than z less than z2 probability of 0 less than z less than z2 this area probability of 0 less than z less than z2 is equal to this entire thing 0.5 to the right of z is equal to 0 0.5 minus this area that is 0 0.08 so this will give you <coughs> probability of 0 less than z less than z is equal to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.08 so this is the one 0 0.5 minus 0 0.08 that is equal to that is equal to 0 0.42 so probability of 0 less than z less than z2 is equal to 0 0.42 so for this area the value of z that is z2 is given to be is given to be for this area value of z is given to be 1.4 therefore z2 is equal to 1.4 <coughs> substituting the value of z2 here 1.4 is equal to 64 minus mu by sigma so therefore simplifying so if you take mu to the right, left hand side mu plus 1.4 sigma is equal to 64 so call this equation as 2 now solving 1 and 2 simultaneous equations in two unknowns mu and sigma we obtain mu <coughs> that is mean is equal to 50 and standard deviation sigma is equal to 10 okay next question in a normal distribution 7 percent are under 35 and 89 percent are also under six under 63 in a normal distribution 7 percent are under 35 89 percent are under 63 find the mean and standard deviation given that a of 1.23 is equal to 0 0.39 that is the area between z is equal to 0 and 1.23 is 0.39 and the area between z is equal to 0 and 1.48 is given to be 0.43 in the usual notation so when the data is given it is better to use what is given in the problem itself the data given in the problem itself so in this problem also we have to find out mean and standard deviation of this distribution normal distribution we given that 7 percent are under 35 89 percent are under 63 so if we uh, <coughs> draw the figure <coughs> normal curve and locate the given uh, uh, area 7 percent are under 35 under 35 to the left x is equal to 7 uh, 35 7 percent are under x is equal to under 35 7 percent are under 35 now 89 percent are under 63 so 8 this is 50 percent so 89 percent means this should come here so uh, the, the <coughs> x is equal to 63 so to the left under again under to the left so this entire portion from here to the till end uh, 89 percent that means 50 percent so 89 percent this is 50 percent this entire thing is 59 percent uh, 89 percent so 89 minus 59 is 39 so this area is 39 so let us calculate the value of z1 and z2 as in the uh, previous problem okay so let z is equal to z1 when x is equal to 35 r uh, <coughs> first let us write the uh, standard normal random variable z is equal to x minus mu by sigma now let us assume at x is equal to 35 let z be equal to z1 z b is equal to z1 therefore z1 is equal to x minus x is 35 so 35 minus mu by 
sigma. So therefore, now probability of z1 less than z less than 0 is this, this area, z1 to z1. So I have to find z1 value of z1 and value of z2. To, to find the value of z1, so I will consider the probability of z1 less than z less than 0. So this area is equal to this entire area 0.5 minus this area. So 0.5 minus so this area under 35 is 7 percent 0.07. So 0.5 minus 0.07. So z1 to 0 is same as 0 to z1. So therefore probability of 0 less than z less than z1 is equal to 0.5 minus 0 0.07 is 0 0.43. For this area, for this area, the value of z is given in the data <coughs> for 0.43, for 0.43 area, z is 1.48. So therefore, z1 is equal to 1.48 from the given data in the problem. But z1 lies to the left of z is equal to 0. Therefore, z1 is equal to minus 1.48 as z lies to the left of z is equal to 0. Now substituting for z1 minus 1.48 here and simplifying we get mu minus 1.48 sigma is equal to 35. So let call it as equation number 1. Similarly at x is equal to 63 let z be equal to z2 let z be equal to z2. So therefore z2 z2 is equal to x is 63. 63 minus mu by sigma. 63 minus mu by sigma. Now so to find out this value z2 I will consider the probability probability of 0 less than z less than z2 is equal to so this area is very clearly uh, calculated uh, easily by subtracting 50 from 89 so you get 39 so 0.39 so probability of probability of 0 less than z less than z2 is equal to 0.39 so this is the area for this area value of z is given in the data of for 0 0.3 0 0.39 area z is 1.23 uh, for 0.39 z is 1.23 therefore z2 is equal to 1.23 the substitute the value of z2 here so 1.23 is equal to 63 minus mu by sigma by sigma so simplifying mu plus 1.23 sigma is equal to 63 so call this equation as 2 now solving equation 1 and equation 2 we obtain <coughs> the value of mu is equal to 50.29 and value of sigma is equal to 10.33 that is mean is 15 50.29 and standard deviation is 10.33 the next problem <coughs> steel rods are manufactured <coughs> to be 3 centimeter in diameter but they are acceptable if they are inside the limits 2.99 centimeter and 3.01 centimeter it is observed that 5% are rejected as oversized and 5% are rejected as undersized assuming that the diameters are normally distributed find the standard deviation only standard deviation okay steel rods are manufactured to be 3 centimeter in diameter but they are acceptable if they are inside the limits 2.99 centimeter and 3.01 centimeter it is observed that 5 percent are rejected as oversized and 5 percent are rejected as undersized assuming that the diameters are normally distributed find the standard deviation so the mean can be calculated as the average of these two average of these two so mean is equal to 3 2.99 plus 3.01 divided by 2 will give you 3 so mean is 3 the standard normal variable 
z is equal to x minus mu by sigma so mu is calculated to be 3 so therefore z is equal to x minus 3 by sigma sigma we have to calculate it we have to calculate standard deviation okay so now five it is given that five percent are rejected as undersized five percent are rejected as undersized and five percent are rejected as oversized so that means five percent are rejected uh, undersized that is 2.99 five percent are rejected as oversized that is above 3.01 3.01 you can take any one of these uh, <coughs> uh, either x is equal to 2.99 or x is equal to 3.01 so let us consider because we want to we, there is only one uh, unknown sigma so one that one uh, <coughs> set is enough that is let us consider x is equal to 3.01 uh, at x is equal to 0 0.3.01 let z be equal to z1 so we shall consider z be equal to z1 therefore z1 is equal to 3.01 minus 3 by sigma so now let me calculate the value of z1 so now uh, i will consider probability of 0 less than z less than z1 probability of 0 less than z less than z1 so this probability that, that means this area is equal to this entire area 0 0.5 minus 0 0.05 that is 5 percent 0 0.05 so probability of 0 less than z less than z1 is equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus 5 percent that is 0 0.05 0 0.05 so this is equal to 0 0.45 the probability of 0 less than z less than z1 is equal to 0.45 so we shall for this area uh, what is the value of z1 so in this problem data is not given so we have to look into the table uh, 0.45 area is 0.45 so approximately we can locate this area in the table and write the corresponding value of z 0.45 uh, this is 0.42 Four three, 0.44, 0.44, 0.45, 0 0.45. So this is the area 0.45, 45 near, nearing to 0.45. So corresponding, corresponding, corresponding value of z is 1.65, 1.65, 1.65. Corresponding value of z is 1.65. So substitute the value of z1 here 1.65 is equal to 3.01 minus 3 divided by sigma therefore sigma is equal to 3.01 minus 3 uh, divided by 1.65 so that will give you sigma is equal to so sigma is 3.01 minus 3 divided by 1.65 so therefore sigma is equal to 0 0.006 <clears throat> okay next application problem in a test on 2000 electric bulbs it was found that the life of a particular make was normally distributed with an average life of 2040 hours and a standard deviation of 60 hours estimate the number of bulbs likely to burn for <coughs> more than 2150 hours less than 1950 hours and between 1920 and 2160 hours so given that given the data so area uh, between z is equal to 0 and 1.5 as 0 